Michelle, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Good. Let me tell you something. Tonight is such a special night for me to be here interviewing you. Let me tell you a little story. About two years ago, you were here in Dallas. Do you remember the story? You know what I'm talking about? Well, I, I think so. And I followed you for the entire day. You remember this, yeah. don't you? Yeah. And at the end of the night, I had given up. I just knew I was going to be able to interview you. And when you talk about philanthropy and giving, it's not always about money. Yeah. It's about giving of time, right? Exactly. It definitely. Because what's most important is, is, is the time. Because a lot of times, you can raise the money. It's just people giving their time, giving their knowledge, showing uh, organization or kids that they care and that's really important. Well, I followed you until 10 o'clock that night and I gave up and I remember getting on the elevator and I was looking down look and I looked up and it was you and you said what's wrong and I said I thought I was gonna get to interview you but I didn't get a chance to and do you know what you did? What? You said come tomorrow and I'll give you a one-on-one -on -one interview. And that's the blessing of God, see? And that's why I am so thrilled tonight to be here to honor you because you didn't know me. I was just starting out and everybody was knocking me over. <laughs> but you gave me the time and you gave me the opportunity to be able to interview you and to use that. And now I'm here back again on the carpet because of people like you who really have used their life to make a difference. Talk about that and helping kids especially. St. Philip School, you've done this in Dallas. I followed you. Yes. Well, I think that it's really important because you've been blessed to make it and be successful. So giving back to some young person is so important or giving back to a great organization that is helping the community is so important so I really feel that if I can touch you know a hundred two hundred five thousand whatever it is uh, people and tell them look this is how you do it this has been my blessing this is how I was successful uh, this is encourage them to stay in school get your education encourage them to uh, make sure that uh, they do what Barack Obama okay. is doing, you know, President-elect Obama. Now, that message of staying in school, you can be anything you want, now th these young people will see that it's really true. And so it's a blessing to have President-elect Obama uh, get ready to take over the Oval Office because it makes my message that much more powerful. Well, your message has always been powerful. I have a six foot three son who just adores you. <laughs> when I told him I was meeting you, he's like, no, mom, can I go? But I just want to say, you know, thank you for being the role model for not just kids, but for adults. And you know what you're doing. You're, you're creating an initiative that will let people just like myself say, you might not have millions, but whatever you have, give, right? Yeah, whatever you have. I mean, Barack Obama is not the president because of the fact that it was millionaires. It was people who give a dollar, uh, five dollars, ten dollars, and that's why he was able to break the record as far as fundraising. You can turn somebody's life around by giving. And um, also, it's not whether you receive the blessing, it's whether you can bless somebody else. That's the true blessing. You're so right. Can I shatter you for a day? Anytime. No, come on. Don't play games, Magic. You know, just one day. Anytime. Okay, I'm going to get you now. You'll give me your number, Magic. You, you promise. I promise. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Magic.